Live. Good morning. Why are you so excited about uh, Kirsty May Hall's work and this ex exhibition called Flight? Well, one of the reasons I'm so excited about her work is because we've had such a wonderful response to her paintings. There's been a constant flow of people from all walks of life, all different backgrounds coming in and just standing in awe in front of these paintings. So it's been really fun for us to have it in the gallery. The idea of birds is not a new idea, but she does something really interesting that not only has resonated with uh, gallery goers, but um, has al almost in many ways changed the way people look at birds. Well, she takes out all the fuss around the birds. I mean, um, she's influenced by sand rock painting, and people have often asked me, what is the influence from mm. the sand rock painting? It's because the sand painted their subject matter alone. They'd put stories together on the uh, walls of caves. They just had the animals. They took out all the, they didn't put the mountains in, they didn't put the landscape in. They spoke very simply about what they saw. And in this case, Kersey speaks about the birds. So it's just the birds she's really painting. There's a lot of negative white space in the background. So that leaves a lot for the viewer's imagination. So you can have a look at these wonderful creatures without all the fuss that comes in behind them in the landscapes. When you, when you talk about that interpretation of what every piece means, um, is there a central theme? Is Kirsty working towards a message? Does she want those that interact with her art to walk away with a message, or is that open to your, your interpretation and experience? It's open to your interpretation and experience, but she's celebrating birds and her love for birds and what birds stand for. And as you said earlier, birds um, stand for freedom. There's no, birds don't need passports. They can go wherever they want, whenever they want. And they're beautiful. They're never in fashion or out of fashion. They've got wonderful colors, and she's really celebrating that. The tone and feel of this exhibition, because a lot of people for the first time, uh, I know you've got a, a large following, but a lot of people for the first time, our viewers will hear about the Intoto Gallery. What was, as, what, was, what was the tone and feel that you wanted to create for this exhibition? Well, it's just really to create a space where we can show off Kirsty's work best. Um, we saw, first saw Kirsty's work, it was last year or the year before, and um, we just saw images on the computer and got some works in from her. She's in a hotel, she sent us some works up, and we had such an amazing response. So we just really wanted to create a clean palette to really show off her works. So that's, that's what it's all about. Talk, Jacques, talk to me about finding new artists, and, and, and as you were saying, she's an up-and-coming artist, and uh, she emailed you guys, but talk to me about that process of finding people that excite, that draw um, people to the gallery. It, it can't be an easy process, can it? It's not an easy process, but it's a really fun process. We're so lucky to live in a city like Johannesburg, which is full of such wonderfully creative people. Uh, we see such great works every single day. And what's actually harder um, is deciding what to show and what not to show, because mm. there is so much out there, and there's so much energy and such wonderful talent that we actually have to often turn people away who we are excited about, but we need to focus on the artists that we do decide to take on to. But it's, it's a wonderfully exciting process. And, 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 and you know, for, for me, uh, before we started this interview, you talked about an artist sending in a couple of pieces to now in Toto Gallery, um, feeling so confident that you gave her a solo, a solo exhibition. That in itself is a pretty big, uh, big feast, isn't it? Well, I think for any artist, a solo exhibition is, is, is what they aim for. Um, we normally take on young artists, we take on a couple of their paintings or sculptures and put them onto a group show and just get a feel for how our market feels about the work. Mm -hmm. um, there are some works which are wonderful, but they're just not right for our clientele. Mm -hmm. Kirsty's works were exactly spot on. The people came in, they loved them, and they literally flew out of the gallery. Jack, what was some of the reaction you got from uh, gallery goers? What, some, of, some of the feedback you've received on Kirsty's work? Well, what's such fun is that um, people have come in and who are not necessarily interested in nature or birds and been completely blown away. And we have a giant picture in the gallery of blue swallows that are um, sort of flying wow. around. Um, and they're just, people just stand there and stare at them. And, and young, old, um, and that's the great thing about art. It brings everybody together. Everybody can form an opinion if they like or if they don't like it. But we've just had a wonderful response. And it's just, it's wonderful having people that 
are in the gallery and getting excited about, about art. Jabukhar, thank you very much for joining us here in studio. He's the uh, Intoto uh, Gallery Director, speaking to us about uh, Kirsty May Hall's uh, exhibition called Flight. The exhibition is on until the 24th of uh, until the 24th of August so there's loads of time to still go and check it out and the gallery is in Birdhaven or just google them it's one of those uh, places that's easy to find you can google map it and go and check out this amazing exhibition we take an ad break